Uh, when I first read the pilot for Mad Men, I was uh, doing a play in New York called Rabbit Hole, and I uh, was sent the pilot script, and, um, and the instructions were to look at the part of Don Draper. And then I called my agent and said, really? You, they, they want me to read for Don Draper? And they said, yep, that's right. So I prepared the part of Draper, and I went in and I read. And then they gave me direction, and I made the adjustments and did read a second time. And then they said, well, okay, here's the thing. We have that guy already. Uh, we want you to play this guy. Uh, or maybe they f told me that after the fact. But I, I, I did the actual audition as Draper, and then, they, and then they told me later they had that guy. And, th and they only brought me in to read for Draper because they didn't think I'd read for Roger because he was only in one or two scenes. Uh, which, you know, slightly pissed me off, but uh, uh, but then I took them on faith. I mean, I was such a fan of Sopranos, and, and those, th those guys, had, that's where they'd come from. And they said, this will be a great part, I promise. So this is what Matt said, and, you know, he was more than true to his word. Uh, my very first job as an actor was in a, uh, let me think. I did, I, got, I did a play called The Lisbon Traviata, a Terrence McNally play here in New York where I had to be naked. And I remember getting the phone call on the, in a phone booth on 8th Avenue. That's how long ago they still had phone booths on 8th Avenue. And I was like, yes, hung up the phone and realized I had to be naked. Like, no. And, and uh, yeah, I had to make my entrance with uh, uh, bare ass. How old were you? How old was I? 20-something? invite your friends and family to the play? Yeah, I did because it was a big deal. I invited my friends and family and they, my father was sat in the front row and it was toward the end of the run and I remember I could hear him sort of, <coughs> oh, you know, kind of clearing his throat and, and um, you know, trying to get through it.